continuing on with the next um, transaction to record in the in the general ledger. We're going to go back to cash account. This is going to be on the 8th. We're going to debit it for 3241 So going to the cash account, okay, there's the date going in. That's the first thing. Second thing is to put in the amount, 3241 debit. Okay, to bring the balance up to date, we take the previous debit balance and add the new debit to it. Adding the debit and debit together, we have a new balance now of $26,381. Again, it came from journal page 5. Now, so the date, the amount, the new balance, and the journal page. Those are the four things. Now we're going to take number 111, go back to our journal, and put that here to show that we have posted that journal entry. So anyone who looks at our journal can tell which ones we put into the accounts where the numbers are missing or empty. This means that that um, posting has not yet occurred. Going to income from services or revenue account to credit it. So let's find the revenue account. Okay, here's the revenue account right here. This is a new month, so we have to put in the month as well as the date. It's uh, credit. Okay, here we have an existing credit balance, and now we're crediting a credit balance. So we have to add the two credits together, and this is our new balance. Came from journal page five, so that's there. So the date, the amount, bringing the balance up to date, and uh, notice is here. Now, what should have credit balances? Um, clear. Capital, liabilities, and revenue should have credit balances. What should have debit balances? Assets, drawing, and expenses. So I'm going to go back and put number 411 in here to show that we posted to that account. Okay, continuing on, uh, we're going to go to accounts payable. Um, we're going to debit it. So let's find accounts payable. So this is in August the 10th. We're going to debit it for 512. Here's the credit balance up here. We're debiting a credit. They're on opposite sides of the T. So we'd have to subtract the debit from the credit to get the new balance, which is 3724 It came from journal page 5. Take number 221, go back to here, and record that to show that, it's, that it's, it has been posted. Then we're going to go to cash and record a credit. So I'm going to my cash account, and here's the date, the 10th, and we're going to credit it for 512. Okay, our debit balance is going to decrease now because we have a credit against it. So we're crediting a debit, we have to subtract those. We have a new balance of 25869 came from journal page 5. We take number 111, go back here to journal page 1 and put in 111. So as you go through these accounts, you're just going to take them one at a time. Remember, don't fill in the number until the job is done. Okay, so this should be blank until you're finished the posting process. So we're just going to, you would continue doing that, and then you would go to the next page, and the only thing that's different here, for the post-reference call in your general ledger, you're going to be doing journal page 6 instead of journal page 5. And then the next step after that would be to do your trial balance. So the trial balance would be right back in this area. Okay, so we're going to talk about that in just a minute.